It's July 7th, 2020. I'm Pastor Edgar, and these are Afterthoughts. In John chapter 11, verse 25, Jesus personalized the resurrection and the life. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Now, I often have thought about the resurrection, specifically a person who is spiritually dead, uh, coming uh, to spiritual life, being born again moving from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God. I thought of that as an event. And it is an, it is an event. Jesus saves us from our sin, makes us born again. And when he makes us born again, we are given life, eternal life. We are safe in his hands. No one can move us from there. So I've always looked at those as events. He saves us and then gives us eternal life, which we're going to have. It's our destination. So events and destination. And yet he personalizes it, personalizes resurrection and life and says that's he is the resurrection and the life. And I wonder if we should be taking that a little bit more, not just as events and destinations, but as he's the purpose of the event and destination. We are saved because of him, for him. We have eternal life because of him and for him. That we are saved to love him, to be brought into a loving father-child relationship with God and God-worshipper relationship. We're all in a relationship with God. Either you're still in your sin and you're an enemy of God or God has saved you and you are his child. And when we are his child, we have gone through the event of salvation and given the destiny of eternal life. But it is about him. He is the resurrection and the life. Our goal, our purpose is him. To love him and to worship him. So when... Uh, a Christian says, uh, what can, how can I live? Can I, can I do this as a Christian? Can I do that as a Christian? Well, that's not the point. The point is, love the Lord your God. Like, love him in the forgiveness that he's given us, in the, the blood of Christ, in his grace. Love the Lord. It's not about behavior. Can I do this behavior? Can I not do that behavior? It's not about that. It's about worshiping him. And our worship and our love of him is always according to what he has said in the Bible. We live, uh, there's fruit of our love and our worship of him. And our point, though, our goal is to love him, the resurrection and the life. It's not just about event and destination. So when uh, my lost loved ones... When I look at them, do I, do I want them just to live differently and have different behavior? No, I actually want them to love the Lord Jesus and to worship him. That's what, that's what I want. And not in this kind of a schmaltzy type of a way that a lot of uh, today's songs are written where it's like Jesus is my boyfriend type music. Not that kind of, oh, I love you, that kind of weird romantic love. I'm talking about like a, Surrender to the Lord, loving and worshiping him according to his word. So that's, that's what John 11 verse 25 has got me thinking. That with Jesus saying, I'm the resurrection and the life, he's the point. He, it's about him. It's about me loving him. It's about him saving me so that I can love him in a loving relationship with the Father through His blood, through the forgiveness that He shed by Him taking my, the punishment that my sins deserve. So it's about loving the Lord, not about events, not so much, no, not so much about events, not so much about destinations, but it's about loving Him, the resurrection and the life. I hope that was helpful and that made sense. Uh, thank you so much for watching.